Right, here's where I was. <laughs> All right. My goodness. Oh, crap. I like it. All right. I know I keep saying all right, but all right. <laughs> that is a tide swamp management area. Thick necked. All right. So here's what happened this morning. Get in here and Somebody was at the spot I wanted to go to. So, this is my second spot. I'm trying to see where. I shot him right through here. I kind of had to thread the needle, but it looked like I absolutely center punched him. So, we are good to go here. Now we got to get him out. Stay tuned. All right, here's what he looks like. All packed up and ready to go. Whoever invented those things needs to be sainted, knighted, uh, duped, duped of world, whatever you want to say. Because even though it is difficult, it is a whole lot easier than dragging them out. Uh, I just dumped his guts down in the water uh, where the swamp comes to the hard road. And uh, now it's just a matter of getting them out. So, hell of a morning. I mean, hell of a morning. Crisp and cool. Uh, the story, I had a small buck, looked like a spike, come in and feed behind me. And then I had a, uh, had a doe feed out in front of me for about 30 minutes, which was cool. Uh, the acorns are dumping like crazy in here. And then I just caught a flash, I mean a flicker of a tail, and then looked up and saw the beam, and I went, okay, this is a shooter. And then it took him forever to get in the clear, but then he did, and I hit him with my 7 mag, and um, put him down right there, didn't even quiver. Stayed in the stand for about 10 minutes uh, with the gun up and, the, and, and the, the trigger cocked just to make sure he didn't feel like getting up and leaving and uh, he was down for the count. So now it's just a matter of getting him out. So stay tuned. Here we are, heading to the check station. Coming out of Tide Swamp. First buck that I've ever killed in here. And I've been laying with them for a couple years now. Uh, big A point. Killed it at 9.15 this morning. It looked like he was just scent checking. He was uh, coming straight. He was upwind of me, but the wind was blowing out of the north. And he was, he was cutting across due north. Probably looking for does. Acorns are starting to fall pretty good. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, uh, Monday, November, something, like uh, 14th, 15th, some, 16th, somewhere in there. It's Monday, that much I do know. And uh, I've been seeing deer, uh, I hunted uh, both Steenhatchee Springs and Tide Swamp, I've been seeing deer pretty consistently, but I hadn't seen any horns yet. And this is the, uh, the first morning that I've seen something with a set of horns that stayed legal, and he's a good one. Um, you'll see that later on in the video, but or you've probably already seen it in the video, put it that way. Uh, but early, about 10 minutes after 8, I had a, uh, a small buck come in. I could definitely see horns. I think it was a spike, but he was feeding and came in behind me. 
and then probably about 30 minutes later I had a doe come in and she fed out in front of me for about 30 minutes and then she fed out of sight and I was you know there's something was standing in the road right there that was probably a hog but uh, we're coming up on a full moon so full moon is the 19th and that's a Friday but uh, so I lost my train of thought where I was headed that's what happens when you get old but um, oh and so I, I was uh, just scanning you know you look around and caught a flicker of a tail and then I saw the body and then he got behind something and the first thing I saw after that was the beam the left beam I was like all right so I had picked three holes that I could shoot because I was in my rifle and it was pretty it was pretty tight and uh, he got to the first one and I missed him so I went to the second one and he was already past that one so I went ahead and jumped to the fourth hole and he walked right into the crosshairs what I did I pulled the trigger so I dumped him right there so that was pretty cool I had a long uh, didn't have a long drag but I had a long cart ride to get him out the road that I was on was a pretty good ways in it's one of those gated walk-in roads which is really cool I like that but anyway headed to the check station here's a little look at tide swamp that's what it looks like it's thick nasty wet low lots of alligators lots of snakes bears in here but I love hunting up here so stay tuned <laughs> 